YouTubers, it's Optimus42388 with another review. And after a long battle of trying to find the Legacy Morpher at Toys R Us, I'm sadly to say I'm still not getting anything. Apparently I'm a month late. It came on Valentine's Day, and they sold out like in the same day. Anyway, so while, while digging through, I found him, found this guy. The Armored Mighty Morphin Red Ranger. Uh, he is behind the Power Rangers Megaforce Red Ranger armored with all the gold stuff. He's in the same area, so check it out. Uh, dig through it. He was in the very back for mine. I was just happy enough to find him. Uh, guy, who doesn't like the Red Ranger with the, you know, dragon dagger and shield and the blaster and the power sword? I mean, come on. This guy's awesome. He looks great. Just few things wrong with them that I have a plan against Bandai America but we'll get to that in a second now he can go back and forth between the quote-unquote battle eyes mode is what we uh, what a lot of people have called it I heard and the original Red Ranger mode so you really don't have to have the shield armband and dragon dagger you, you don't have to have all that Phoenix you're not being in the movie um, what he comes with is the power sword, power blaster sword. Oh, it does not fold, unfortunately. It just stays right there. With the little peg hole he's got on each side. And my cat wants to be in the video. Phoenix, you're not a Power Ranger. Thank you. And then he comes with a dragon dagger, which I'm so a little upset. I mean, this thing was $20. Finally, we get a, you know a full-size figure, unlike we did in 2010, uh, with a, about that big. Yeah, so he, he's pretty uh, full, pretty good size. Um, then you get the armbands, which are a pain in the butt. The shield, and then you also get four sets of hand, two interchangeable, one to hold the weapons with, and then you get the. Um, action pose hands, I guess you could say. One does have a hole in it, so you can hold the dragon dagger, but it looked pretty weird with it being like that, so. I don't know what the point of that is. Maybe they might have someone else later on. And you know how, you know how Bandai is. Anyways, so. But you can take the dragon dagger, and it does have a peg at the bottom, and you can plug it in here, so you can always have it on. You know, even if he doesn't have his doesn't have the shield on, he can always have it by his side. I mean, hey, when Tommy gave that gave the dra dragon coin up, it was just like history in the making. I mean, it was our first battle eyes mode, but I don't know what year it was in Super Sentai. Articulation wise, fabulous. Let's go with the feet first. Ankle movement. Rotating calves, knees bend, hip joint all the way around, awesome. Hands, ball, let's get rid of the power sword for a second. Hands, got a joint of their own. Shoulders, great articulation. He does have uh, chest movement, so you can give that... movement here, so yeah, there's a pretty good picture of that. Head does turn with a good job of sculpting the helmet. And it also has a little feature. Uh, if you are a Dragon Ball Z fan, you you know what this reminds you of. Tien getting his arm chopped off by Na Nappa. That w this is for to take these on and off, which these are so a pain in the butt. They are sculpted inside to fit his overdone muscles. I, mean, I almost bought the Megaforce one, you know, buy, buy one, get one 50% off, but I'm just like comparing Jason to, what's his name, Troy and the Megaforce? I don't know, they just made him so much more ripped. Anyways, yeah, that this is what he basically looks like. But yeah, he's, he's pretty awesome. Uh, that's what it looks like in the original. You can still hold the dragon dagger like I said earlier. 
Um, like I said, I have a couple of complaints. First off, we'll start with the power source for a second. Let's just take a look at it. Um, doesn't this thing have yellow right here? I mean, I, I know it's not perfect. You know, this is better than nothing. You know, better than black. You know, better than this. You know, I mean, they did they did a pretty good job for the size of the figures on this. But all the weapons were black. So th this is definitely an upgrade. With the whole... Uh, yeah, let's try that. With the whole design, the power sword design, really nice. Black handle. It, it's a fairly nice weapon. Um, the power blaster, or gun, really didn't do much. They could at least, you know, paint this black where the handle's at. I don't know if you can see the design. They didn't do that. Yeah, hey, everyone loves a power blaster. I'm still trying to get this thing. I'm still trying to get this and the Morpher. The original, original ones. So, but I do have this. I do have the Dragon Dagger. They did, hey, at least put the green in with the Dragon Coin. Um, I never, actually, isn't the Dragon Coin facing up? In it? I don't know. Pause real quick, let me check. Okay, so no. They got that right. The power coin is supposed to be facing up. Sorry, I had to check that. Both sides. Hey, it's not just, you know, one side. Um, according to the box, which, let's get to that. The... Here's the back side real quick. As you can see, the dragon dagger actually was painted silver with better detailing. The armbands are different. The power sword and power blaster are different. You know, better paint job, but hey, if you're skilled at painting, go for it. Uh, then it talks about these, well, them vinyl, more vinyl rangers. I don't know. Gives the story. Everyone knows it. You get one card for the game. Pretty good picture of Jason. Jason's the Red Ranger, not Rocky. Rocky was too cocky and arrogant sometimes. Pretty good picture. Yeah, the traditional, uh, I think, what was it? Zayu Ranger, Red, Zayu Red. I, I think that's how you say it. Like I said, one card. It's, it is of Jason. Him armored off. And you look. Look at that. Silver. Silver blade. How dare they. F ages four and up. It is... It is in the... Power Rangers Mega Force, but it's, you know, you look for this symbol. Look for the original symbol, and that's when you'll know it's the good, basically what you look for when you're looking for it. I said $20 at Toys R Us. Um, okay. Time for the complaints. Biggest complaint is not the figure itself. The figure is great. Posability. It's just the armor. The armor is like a dull gold, and the armbands are a pain in the butt to get to because you have to, you know, have to be pushed up all the way. This one's about to fall off. Push it all the way up his biceps just to keep it on, whereas the box suggested they clip on. But it would have made it a little more simpler. Um, you know, I really can't complain too much. I mean, we got the dragon shield for Jason, but it's just the back piece. Now, as you notice, they have straps. These straps are supposed to peg in right here. They don't. I mean, if this doesn't have camera, just like Ravage did. See? Okay, first off, the hole is not big enough to hold it. Ah, oh, you... F nope, see? It holds it for like a second, then you try to move it, it falls apart. I mean, what? I mean, could have someone a little better? Plastic straps? Mm. Or at least, you know, have the hole big enough to fit on both sides. I would have even taken, you know, the Dragon Flyer again. Which my battery's dead in this one. I would have taken that. Pretty genius idea with that. 
You know, but it, it's a pain in the butt. So the only way you can hold this together is just the top. The top two pegs. The, this little peg here and the hole. That's the only way to hold it. I mean, yeah, you can, you know, adjust it to make it look like he has it on if you want to display it, but like that. I mean, you're not going to do you know, going to look like that, but that's one complaint. Um, secondly, when you're changing the hands out, the joint right there, it's already starting to split. I've had a couple of problems with this with like the earlier Mega Man figures. Like my Axel figure, his joints are completely off track. Be almost beyond repair. I need to stop playing with it, put it away. Yeah, so this is the pose he comes in with these hands. So you have to switch them out, and these aren't going back on. I, I might, you know, do right hand or, yeah, right hand like this, but basically he's going to be stuck with his enclosed fist. Now, speaking of the little Red Ranger, I'll give you a size comparison. I will call him Mini Me. Yeah. Now, you know, two times the size of him. I mean, the Power Sword is bigger than the, the 2010 mold. By the way, did, did anyone get those, the second wave of these guys? Uh, not the ones with the shield. I mean, I see that all the time on eBay. But it's the one where it had the, um,. Kind of like a Green Ranger car cruiser that transforms to its own robot. Did anyone else get that? Pre-ordered it on Big Bad Toys about a year ago, and they just canceled it. What's up with that? I mean, hey, I was looking forward to it. I got the red, you know, dragster. But where's the Green Ranger car? He deserves one, too. I mean, Tommy is just as good as, if not better, Ranger than Jason. Anyways, that's just me. That's just me ranting. So, um... <clears throat> excuse me. Let's see, anything else I can complain about this guy? No? Backside? No? Oh, I, I, I think I'm pretty good now. You know, talked about the shield, how junky it is. Uh, bad paint job. Can they could at least, you know, put a joint here so you can close it? So it would look like you know, the blaster itself. Um, can't complain too much about the Dragon Dagger. It's a lot better than just it being completely black, like these were. Power Swords, speaking of that, love the paint jobs doing better. Almost there. Almost got the yellow. Um, figure itself, hey, have at it. I'm going to, I'm going to enjoy this. This is going to be really awesome. Oh, and uh, speaking of the I guess you could say legacy line with the morpher in this guy. I guess they're doing a legacy Megazord. Basically the 2010 reissue of the Megazord just in diecast. Uh, if anyone has like a video of it or whatnot, send it to me. Or send me the link. I would like to see what's going on with it. If it's just the same thing as that, I might get it and just leave it in the box. Because there's no point, you know, having two of the same Megazords. Well, this is Optimus 423.